rings are used to describe directions. They are measured clockwise from north, with north taking the value of 000 degrees and 360 degrees. If an angle is less than 100 degrees, we add an extra zero or two, so that it is three digits. To measure a bearing from one place to another, we have to consider where we are being asked to start. Have a look at this question. To measure B from A, find the north line at A, then form and measure the angle to B. To measure the bearing of A from B, start at B, form the angle to A and measure the angle, remembering to move clockwise. If you do not have a 360 degree protractor, you can measure the smaller missing angle, then subtract this value from 360. For example, if the missing angle was 110 degrees, then the bearing of A from B will be 360 degrees minus 110 degrees, which equals 250 degrees. If we are told a place is on a bearing and distance away, such as town B is 5 kilometers away from town A on a bearing of 120 degrees, we find that bearing from A, then measure using a scale to get to B. It's also possible to find a location using two others. Consider this question. A ship at sea is on a bearing of 117 degrees from town A and a bearing of 209 degrees from town B. Locate the ship. Pause the video and see if you can figure out how. We can draw a bearing of 117 degrees from town A and a 209 degree bearing from town B. If you only have a 180 degree protractor, you can draw from the south line and measure 29 degrees clockwise as 29 plus 180 equals 209. Where the lines intersect is the point the ship lays at. We can also apply Pythagoras to this scenario. If we are told town A is three kilometers from the ship, B is four kilometers from the ship, and their bearings intersect perpendicularly, we can form a right angle triangle. Pause and see if you can figure out the length of AB. We can then use Pythagoras to determine the distance between the town is 5 kilometers. We can also use trigonometry. Consider this question. Town B is 6 kilometers due north of town C. Town A is 3 kilometers from town B. The bearings of A from towns B and C bisect perpendicularly. What's the bearing of town A from C? Using Sokotoa, we can see we need to learn the size of angle BCA. Pause the video and see if you can work it out. We can see the opposite length is 3 kilometers, whilst the hypotenuse is 6 kilometers. As sin BCA equals opposite over hypotenuse, or 3 divided by 6, this gives us 0.5. The inverse of sin of 0.5 gives us an angle of 30 degrees. To find the actual bearing of A, we then subtract this from 360. This gives us an answer of 330 degrees. There you have a quick guide to bearings. Remember, bearings help us with directions and all bearings have three digits. So if you have an angle of seven degrees, your bearing is 007 degrees. Not that James Bond ever got lost. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.